Wie Dörn. Hm? <lacht> ja, Jörg. Let me pick up what you've done then. I'll risk it just in case there's any more out there. that an interesting spell. You'll find a few down here. Still walk a bit odd on those back legs, don't you? Still a bit of exercise will build them up. I don't go rolling in that horse poo up there. Because I'm not sure what you like in bath yet. And I knew you'd make a beeline for it. They're good girl. Let's hope you say when it comes to badger poo and fox poo. Yeah, she's a bit bull legged at back. When you look at her walking. but not as bad as they said she was. I'm coming, don't worry. I'm not gonna run away and leave you. Yeah. This is Broadly Woods, by the way. I'll probably say in the intro, but... Uh, I know it's a suddenly nothing happens type of video, but... Ooh, horses. Yeah, Ace, yes, come here. Hey, stay. That's it. It's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. 
she's very placid but she's new to me yeah no she's actually over eight year old yeah yeah a good girl there let's get you a treat this where did I put them? in my pocket this but she's not bothered about a treat she wants to explore Yeah, it's not how she'd react with horses, it's how the horses would react with her. Especially if she were leading one, which could have been fairly young. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really good girl. And don't you roll in that dog book that somebody hadn't picked up. Yeah. Yeah, you like your chicken strips, don't you? Come on, bud. Now the footpath and bridle way actually runs straight on. Um, up there goes up to the. Uh, pheasant shooting but she wants to go up there so we'll explore up there for a bit despite it saying no public right away I always used to walk the dogs up here oh plenty of little primroses look what are you rolling in Hey. No, I can't see anything. Just a scent that you found. Yeah, just a scent that you found. Probably fox pee. Yeah, yeah lots of little primroses here. Grow like weeds into some bits of Dorset. <laughs> Swamp patch not far from me that. Uh, Grows oxalips as well, good area of oxalips. They're the taller stemmed ones. Look like primroses, but the flowers are on a, a stem. Well, this is going to exercise my bad hip. And her bad hips as well, if it comes to that. She needs to build up muscle mass and I need to build up muscle mass. We're a pair of cripples together, Ace. Yeah. Now we'll have to turn around at the top of here because we're getting into the pheasant area. So nobody thinks you look your ages.
Uh, we better not go much further with it at T junction. The uh, shooters and beaters uh, meal area is just up there. They have like a big covered table with seating around it. Yes, yes, come on, you daft thing. We'll go back this way. I don't want to go up there, it's uh, into the pheasant area. They sometimes have, uh, it's a bit early in the year, but they sometimes have pens where they raise chicks. Right, shall we head back? Say good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. God, it's no easier walking downhill. <laughs> Told me if, I, if I'd lose three stone, they could do something about my hip. I think if I lost three stone, I wouldn't need to worry about my hip. I like that she keeps stopping and looking back, checking where I am. She's a bit deaf, so can't really hear me footsteps yeah I'm here used to be lined with the uh, hazel bushes all along here I used to come and uh, collect filberts hazelnuts every autumn well if I go get to before squirrels did and along the footpath there there were a couple of trees that had uh, what, what they're called velvet stemmed mushrooms or toadstools that grow actually on the tree stem uh, in the autumn winter and they were lovely Sue used to like them as well she was a bit hesitant to start with until she saw that I didn't die after eating some <laughs> these I think they were called velvet stem mushrooms or something they're completely brown and velvety and they grow directly out of the uh, bark on a tree stem a living tree but when they did a lot of uh, clearance to make way for all the logging because this is broadly woods it is actually uh, a worked woodland when they uh, cleared the path to make way for the tree felling machines they chopped down those <laughs> damn trees that have got the mushrooms on no appreciation for fine dining these uh, foresters now you're good first time be good second time and don't roll in that horse book She knows where it is. She may never have come across horse dung before. Oh, she's looked back to check I'm here. She'll hang about for me.
It's only been two days and she is uh, fairly, uh, what's the word, uh, attached to me. Well, let's put it that way. She tends to follow me around uh, house and garden, unless she's sleeping. Or on a favourite uh, lookout perch on the front step. She likes that, watching the world go by. In this fine weather, I've got the door open. So she lays on the front step, watching the world go by. <laughs> Sorry, not on the front step, just inside the front door, watching the world go by. Well, this has been a much faster pace than I normally walk at. I generally take an amble. Looking at the world, catching the sounds and scents. Not used to a dog's pace, not anymore. <laughs> 